Hi guys, I'm Asif Ali and you're watching this job video. Today I created this very simple meteor effect using this reference. I'll put the link in description. This looks really awesome, but I created this very simple and very quickly. So you'll have an idea how to put these elements. Thanks for watching and if you haven't subscribed my YouTube video, uh, YouTube channel yet, please subscribe. If you like this video, please like, share and comment. And let's start this tutorial. First of all, subscribe my YouTube channel and also click on bell icon so you will receive all new video notification. So I have this, uh, so I have this empty folder meteor, and this is the reference we will follow today. This is cool effect I found on YouTube. I'll put the link in my description. It looks really cool with this sphere and these sparks. So let's create this. Yeah. You can shake your camera like this or you can just shake your particle effect. You can do both things. So I will shake uh, my particle in Niagara. So FX. Save this. So I'll remove this, I'll take a mesh and that would be sphere. Just one particle and uh, once it's spawn and life will be infinite. So we have our sphere and to shake, I will use um, jitter. Maybe three. Or if it's going uh, like way, it's moving a lot. So you can do one thing. You can select this, take a position and add. Make it per frame and coin. Let's keep going on. So you can take spring. Now it's also shaking. So you can also shake things like this. So if I make it five, 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 minus five, minus five. So you will have control which axis actually you want to shake. And five is too much, so three, three, three. And you can also increase here, strength. Okay. So when you finish your shaking, uh, let's make it one, two, drag it here. I think size is okay. And now rest of your particle system, these should take the position from this. So first you need something uh, like this. Uh, mesh so let me search if i have 
So let's create one so you will know how can I can how I will create. So take a slender or you can take a sphere also and just make that half. So you can just take this sphere and delete the half and move this down here. So pivot will be here and UVs need to slack tall and normalize. So it will fill this. And I will just export this desktop hemisphere. And here I will import that. Okay, it is very small. Let me just scale it up and reach reimport it. Oh my god, I need to restart this. And now this material M uh, speed speed lines. What you say? I don't know exactly name. I'm gonna create this thing, this dusty and this sparks thing. So I'll open this. Use this hemisphere here. Just need a soft texture like I have this or a blur. Connect this here. Minus five or minus three. And then tiling three point three or two. Okay, so I will randomize this and also randomize the time, and then you need. Uh, mask then sign i will also fade it from here uh, no i will not fade it here i don't need sign i need one minus then power so it is fading it from here and then i multiply this it's fading from here it is fog here for turn of the post process and part just save this so now in this effects, I will duplicate this. This is my sphere. This is like uh, what you say, this layer, this is burning layer. Then I use, I'll create the, I'll duplicate it and create this dusty layer. So this is like burning core actually. So I'll just make core. And now in this one, if I just change the mesh, I take this one and this material has already material 
and I want the same uh, same position I want the same position uh, because it is random value and it is also so it will be random value so although it will not uh, uh, be like noticeable you can use that so I can move this up slightly oh here you this is the position and I'll make this up let's make it 20 20 and red and red it's going down minus 120 minus 120 so it is there almost why it's behaving like that because of this spring so better is to not use this for now if you having issue just use jitter and slight value like three okay and now i can move this up from this see different values it has so if you want the same value what i can do in this one create a scratch pad take a reader vector by index and i need position i need to set the position oh i took vector 2d just go to your attribute reader and you can take vector by index connect this here position fix type your name and that's it okay so uh, and i need to add a offset so i can add here make a vector and then connect this here and this one here so your b will be offset okay so now it's moving together and it has offset okay and now you can rotate it it's not rotating make it local okay so it is burning and uh, what mm, okay one more i need a uh, dynamic parameter actually i need so here i will take a dynamic parameter connected here in power so because this need to be like here and I will use maybe 20, uh, not 20, 10, then initial mesh rotation, initial mesh orientation, I will randomize it on Z. You can randomize it here also, very little value, 0 0.01 or maybe 0 0.02, 0 0.02, minus 0 0.02, minus 0.02. 
three root two. Okay, and this will be random. Then random size. So I will use non-uniform. Uh, it is five by default. Then I'll reduce little bit and make it ten. not 10 uh, 2 and 6 and then the standing parameter i can also randomize it um, from 5 to 20 5 20 okay so it's burning here then i'll duplicate this this is second layer dust just need to change the color brownish and increase the size so it will be like 10 10 and 10 and i'll make the alpha a little higher 3 and this will be sorting one six six uh, seven, uh, seven seven five five so we have also dust five and i'll make a ten And this will be like six six. And I'll actually uh, offset this one little bit so it can be visible. One one zero. So it is visible now. So okay, two layers done. And this sphere, I will apply a material. Lower. Any gray material and this is also like you can see this is cutting so that fade multiply this and I will not use hundred just 20 maybe yeah and okay now we need to add these sparks and then dust so for spark this is just a flat color so i will use a material and spark cube this will be additive clean this up so this will be just flat color browse this duplicate this sparks velocity aligned color will be bright and then this will be spawning continuously uh, maybe 50 for now and continuous spawn and i don't need this and for this because this is taking the position here so what you can do open this i'll just copy this whole thing copy and then I'll delete this and create one more module. Paste this. And instead of setting position, what I'll do, I'll make a vector. Uh, vector. And this will be my initial position. Any I am just typing initial NEP and I will add 
this thing on my position so this will be sphere and this in will be initial position okay so it will just add on my initial position then set the position Mm, let me try how it comes so i'll use random size 20 50 for now and then velocity um con I'll just put it here so it will just take the initial position okay uh, actually I didn't need to change the module uh, we need I need to just move it here so that step you can ignore avoid uh, sorry skip you can just drag this here and this will be here or I can say minus one and then gravity or yeah gravity so it's making that arc and you can increase this And life would be 0 0.6, 0 0.2, 0 0.1. Very fast and just going there. And I'll make this local. Otherwise, what will do? It will do. It will move the particle down because it is world. So if I make it local, the rotation will match. And higher curl noise. We need something here. So what you can do, you can multiply your gravity and then break it. So now if I use here like minus 2000 and this multiplier will minus 2000 will work. So it is zero, gravity will not work. It is one, gravity will work. So now I can make a curve and let's say in starting it is not working but at point 2 it is working and let's close this material so gravity is not working initially or you can just make it point 0.3 And also you can make a, a tractor if you want, pointer tractor. And just move it here down. Minus 1000. Make this up. Particle will attract here. Not that much. Okay.
and that dust layer is too much so i will just make the particle three and this core i will increase the this to 100 and also the size I'm still not liking this particle behavior. Turn this off. If I turn these off, both particle going straight. Oh, it should go straight like this. Then gravity. Yeah, it is fine now. I will randomize this color actually. And this red layer not looking good. I'll use pause here. Hmm. I need some contrast actually. And saturation. This much. I still don't like sparks. it is coming and this has also this dust layer and then this has this fernail type thing or I can just add light here so if I just take a point light on zero Mm. 
that is working. So point light working and then the dust layer. So for that I have already smoke materials. I'll use just simple one so you don't need to worry. I'll use this 4x4 four four random frames. Not this. This one. 4x4 four four random frames from Photoshop. So I'll use this one. Duplicate spark. 4x4 four four and here I need animation. 16 frames 0 to 15 random frames i don't need the con i don't need i need this one and it is dusty so point one one point one zero and No curl noise. Spawn three and that, two and that, and the offset will be here, here, and it will fade. So scale color. and random this thing and point two point one and instead of gravity actually i'll use uh, velocity random minus 500 and minus 100 And also, it's velocity aligned 200, 400. So I'll use 200, 300, here 400, and 1000. I will stress this and add this even more, maybe 0.2 here. And Mog is also very fast, so and this dust layer is too much. No, it's okay. No, it's fine. So I think that's it. And also you can duplicate this. This is actually dust. Rail. You can duplicate this. And just decrease the spawn rate maybe 5 and increase this. Mm. 
no test delete this and also i will duplicate the spark and in this one i will just decrease the size 0 0.1 1 5 and 10 and decrease the gravity um, not this much and two so now this is this is done And this is fair, doesn't have any trinal type thing. I will use that. So, M sphere and just use a trinal and P e multiply particle color. This will go here and this will be opaque for lit and gray color slightly roughness 0.3 that's it use it here So that's it that's it i'm finishing this so i hope this is clear i'll put this file on patreon so you can download and check it out thanks for watching keep learning bye bye